So by default, when you install XAMPP, you can access it via localhost or using the loopback address. So with the XAMPP on, I type in localhost or else I type in the 127 loopback address and we're utilizing, we're utilizing port 80, the default port. So what if you wanted to access your server from another device on the network? So here what we're going to do is we're going to configure XAMPP to be accessible on your network and you'll be able to access XAMPP maybe through your mobile phone or another laptop that's connected to your network. So first of all, you need to go to start if you're using Windows and type in CMD to open up the command prompt. So from here, we first need to work out what our IP address is. So I type in IP config. So this is going to be a, give me a list of all different IP addresses on my machine. Notice here though, we need to find the IP address. So here I'm using the Ethernet card and my IP address is 192.168.139. Now you might be using your wireless card, for example, so it might be in this section here. So I need to remember this number, 192.168.139. This is your IP version 4 address. So with that information, I can now access the Apache server. So what I need to do is find the installation path for XAMPP. Mine is on the C drive. So I go to the folder and then I access Apache folder. So inside of here is your web server Apache configuration files. And I then access the config folder. And then I need to open the httpd config file. This is basically the master file that your XAMPP server uses or your Apache server uses in XAMPP to configure your server. Now, what you need to do is go down to line 60 in this case, and you notice it says here, listen. So your server by default is listening on port 80 and it's using the localhost or loopback address. Now, if you want it available on your IP address or on your network, First of all, we need to type in the IP address of your machine that we found out earlier. So 192.168.1.39. And then we can designate it a port number if we want to access the server. So for example, 8000. Now we can't just randomly make this number up. Some of the ports aren't available. So 8000 is a good number to use. So once you've saved that file, uh, just remember you have to type in the word listen. Don't forget that. And now we can restart the server. So we start the server and notice now the ports available are 80, 443 and 8000 that we've just designated. So what we should be able to do now is go into our web browser and now type in the IP address 192.168.1.39. And there we go. So now we can access the server via the IP address. So now this is available. It should be now available for other devices on your network. Now, there are a few problems that might occur. For example, your firewall might be blocking this. Um, so you may need to configure your firewall. So that was a simple example, configuring XAMPP to be accessible on your network.